Hello Curiosity. We're going to visit the Gala Crater again. And this time we're going to create a game. So it's a game on Mars. Forget about life on Mars. It's a game on Mars. So the first thing we need to do, yes, you've got lovely wheels. I do like your wheels, Curiosity. But can we go into Load World? So click on Load World. Now, in the previous tutorial, which was tutorial three, we created some rocks and some scores. So I'm going to load that game. Now you can play all three tutorials first and then continue or load your previous game. I'm going to load the previous game and click play. So here we are again, Curiosity is on the terrain looking at Mars and is going to use, or she's going to use, her chem cam. And she's going to fire a laser at a rock. The electrons will jiggle about all excited and they will give out a colour. This time I'm going to make Rover a little bit smaller. Choose the object tool and then go to Rover. Let's make him a little bit smaller. Right click, change size and bring him down a few sizes. There he is. Now we want to create a game. If you remember from the previous lesson, the rocks were given points. So this time we are going to duplicate the rocks. So let's start duplicating the rocks. Right click on the, the rock. Click copy. Right click on the rock again. Or on the terrain. And you can see sometimes it jumps about. So paste and you can always move them elsewhere. And we want to paste about 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just press this key. You may have to copy it again if the paste disappears. Nine and ten. So you can see all of these sedimentary rocks we've now copied. And you can see unknown sedimentary rocks all over the place. Now we want to copy the igneous rocks. Exactly the same as before. Right click. Copy. Right click, paste. Paste them all over the place. As you can see, when I go over here, there's a slight bug. So always, you can move them in a moment. Three, four, five, Six. Again, that bug comes up. Just click Escape. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now you can start dragging these rocks at this stage all over the place now. So we've got wonderful terrain full of sedimentary rocks and igneous rocks. 
the sedimentary rocks we want to drill to get a higher score and the igneous rocks we want to shoot with a laser. Before we do that we need to have the game finished. So let's right click on Rover. Go into program. Use the arrow keys to go down. Now when the score when and we're looking for the score when score or when it's scored and it's the red score colour red there's the scores we want red when the red score is above go into the compare is above When the red score is above, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred points, what will happen? You are going to win is the game you are going to win. Let's now play the game. Let's click escape. Let's press play. Use the arrow keys and Curiosity is now going to scan. Got five points. Now then, what type of rock is it? That looks like it's an igneous rock. So we don't want to take a sample of the igneous rock, we want to shoot the laser at it. So shoot the laser, press the L, and we've got 10 points. Fantastic. Let's move on. Off we go, Curiosity. Off you go to the next one. Scan. And we've got five points. Fantastic. What is it? It's another igneous rock. Again, we are going to shoot the laser at it. So from your chem cam, you have shot a laser. And the colour is read by your spectrometer. So now you can tell what type of rock it is and what it's made of. Go to the next one. Let's scan it. Five points. This time it's a sedimentary rock. So this time we want to drill it. And we've got 20 points. Fantastic. Let's go on to the next one. Let's scan it. And it's scanned two that time. This time, let's drill the sedimentary one because we want to sample. But the igneous, we want to put the laser beam on it. Let's put the laser beam on the igneous rock. And we've got 10 points. Now, we said at the beginning, when we put the score in, when we get to 400, the game will be over. However, it's going to take us a long time to get to 400. Let's press escape. Click the object tool. Choose Rover into the program. And if we scroll down, we want to take out these 300 points. We only want 100 points there. Click on the points. And 
and press delete. Click on the points and press delete. And escape. So let's try it again. Off we go again. Press the arrow. Off we go again. Scan it. It's sedimentary. We want to drill it. On to the next one. Scan it. It's igneous. So this time we want to laser it. And we've got 10 points. And it's glowing. Scan it. It's a sedimentary. So we want to take a sample. So let's drill it. And the next rock, scan the rock. Is it sedimentary? It is igneous, so we want to laser it to see the colour. And the spectrometer will read the colour and will tell us what type of rock it is and what it's made of. Let's go to the next one. Let's scan it. Five points. It's sedimentary. Let's and there we go, we've gone over a hundred points, so the game is now over. We need to press escape. We need to save the game. Save my world. And this is the end of four. Put your name in. Put your name in. And this time it was to create a game. This time it's creating a game. So at the end of tutorial four, we created a game. So we created a game. And this is what it'll look like at the end of tutorial 4 and then we will save it.